today i will tell you about the lumbar plexus lumbar plexus include l1 to l4 lumbar vertebrae the dorsal divisions of l2 l3 and l4 gives off a nerve known as femoral nerve femoral nerve its root vertebrae are l2 l3 and l4 the ventral divisions of l2 l3 and l4 gives off obturator nerve this is the obturator nerve its root vertebrae are l2 l3 and l4 then from l2 and l3 the dorsal division there comes a cutaneous nerve cutaneous nerve known as the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh its root values are l2 and l3 from the ventral divisions of l3 and l4 there comes a nerve known as the accessory obturator nerve accessory obturator nerve its root values are l3 and l4 l1 gives off two branches the ilio hypogastric nerve and the ilio inguinal nerve ilio hypogastric nerve and the ilio inguinal nerve from l1 and l2 there comes a nerve known as the genitofemoral nerve this is the genitofemoral nerve its root values l1 and l2 the ilio hypogastric nerve supplies the skin of the a gluteal region skin over gluteal region and the interior lateral muscles of abdomen the il the ilio inguinal nerve supplies the content of inguinal canal the genital femoral nerve further gives of two branches the genital branch and the femoral branch femoral nerve gives of several branches the obturator nerve is the main nerve of the medial compartment of thigh Accessory obturator nerve is not present in all persons. It is present only thirty percent of subjects. Now, in the lumbar plexus, there is only one cutaneous branch. The other two, the medial and the intermediate cutaneous branches, comes from the femoral nerve. This is all about the lumbar plexus.